Welcome to a lesson on writing algebraic expressions. Let's begin with two definitions. Let's define a variable in an algebraic expression. A variable, usually represented by a letter or symbol, can be defined as a quantity that may change within the context of a mathematical problem. A variable can also be defined as a placeholder for a specific value. An algebraic expression, sometimes called a variable expression, is a mathematical statement that can contain numbers, variables, and operations, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, as well as other operations. Let's look at our first example. Here we're told Juan is six inches taller than Nico. Let n represent Nico's height in inches. Let an algebraic expression to represent Juan's height. So we're using the variable n to represent Nico's height. So we'll put an n here. And now because Juan is six inches taller than Nico, Nico's height can be represented by the algebraic expression n plus six. Again, because Juan is six inches taller than Nico. As an example, if Nico was 56 inches tall, n would be equal to 56. And now notice how n plus six would be equal to 56 plus six, which equals 62 which means if Nico is 56 inches tall, Juan is 62 inches tall. Notice this example does show Juan is six inches taller than Nico. Example two, again, Juan is six inches taller than Nico, but now we're told to let J represents Juan's height in inches. So let's go ahead and put a J here for Juan's height. And we're asked about an algebraic expression to represent Nico's height. Well, again, we know Juan is six inches taller than Nico, so we can also say Nico is six inches shorter than Juan. And therefore, we can use the algebraic expression for Nico's height of j minus six. Again, Juan is taller by six inches, which means Nico would be six inches shorter than Juan. As an example here, let's let j, Juan's height, be equal to 60 inches, so j would be equal to 60. Notice that j minus six, which represents Nico's height, would be 60 minus six, which equals 54. And notice how Juan is six inches taller than Nico. Example three, suppose sales tax in your town is currently 9.8%. Write an algebraic expression representing the sales tax for an item that cost D dollars. So we'll use the variable D for the cost of the item. So the sales tax will be 9.8% of the cost of the item, or 9.8% of D. So to find the percent of a number, we convert the percent to a decimal and multiply. So 9.8% as a decimal would be equal to 0 0.098. To convert a percent to a decimal, we remove the percent sign and divide by 100, or remove the percent sign and move the decimal point to the left two places, which means the sales tax or an item that costs D dollars would be 0 0.098 times D, which we can write as just 0 0.098 D. Example four, you started this year with $362 saved, and you continue to save an additional $30 per month. Write an algebraic expression to represent the total amount saved after M months. So total number of months that you save $30 is represented by the variable M so the number of months would be M. And now for the total amount saved after M months would be, well, you start with $362, so it'd be 362 plus, you save $30 a month for M months, so we have plus 30 times M, or just 30M. So the total savings is equal to the starting savings of $362 plus the amount saved over M months. As an example, if you save $30 for, let's say, 10 months, M would be equal to 10, and that means the total savings amount would be 362 plus 30 times 10, which would be equal to 362 plus 300, which equals 662. So after 10 months, you would have saved $662. For our last example, movie tickets cost $8 for adults and $5.50 for children. Write an algebraic expression to represent the total cost for A adults and C children to go to the movie. And we'll assume, and we'll assume the expression is in dollars. 
So the number of adults is represented by the variable a. The number of children is represented by the variable c. Every adult costs $8, and every child costs $5.50, which means the variable expression for the total cost, which we assume is in dollars, would be 8 times a, because it costs $8 for every adult, plus 5.50, or just 5.5, .5, times c, because it costs $5.50 for each child. So this expression would give us a total cost in dollars. And let's look at an example. Let's say four adults go to the movies and 10 children. In that case, A would equal four and C would equal 10. So the total cost would be eight times four plus 5.5 .5 times 10, which is equal to 32 plus 55, which is equal to 87 which means it would cost $87 for four adults and 10 children to go to the movies. I hope you found this helpful.